guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the disaster of Alexandra trying to dye her hair at home. Um, okay. So spontaneous, so random. I let my intrusive thoughts win and I'm going with the theme of the internet. Currently, cherry cola hair, right? Never dyed my hair at home before. I always go to the salon. But let's face it, after COVID, the salons are just incredibly expensive and I'm paying for these. So this will have to do. <laughs> nine pounds worth of hair dye i've heard very good reviews about this brand olia garnier and this is in the shade 4.62 so like i said never done it at home never dyed my hair at home before i have no idea what i'm doing i've watched some tutorials online God help me, that's all I can say. Um, so this is the colour cream. This is the developer and you just put the colour cream inside the developer. And then you have the instructions, which I've already read. This is some conditioner for after and some gloves. That is what is inside the box. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it, shall we? Got a handy little bag down there so we don't make a mess, hopefully. Move my rug out of the way. All of my rugs. Oh God, my heart is beating, guys. This could be an absolute disaster. I could either look cute and end up looking like Ariel from Little Mermaid, or I could look like I don't know the comparison, but yeah, let's see how this turns out. Can't even get the gloves on, that's a good start, isn't it? start with the back of my hair so I'm just going to take some on my gloves and oh my god <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this oh my god this is terrible so slippery I hope this one bottle is actually going to be enough. I'm kind of wrenching it because this is virgin, virgin hair. It hasn't been co coloured for three years now. So I'm, I need to make sure that it's all My worst nightmare would be guys if I left out massive patches and in some places I would have red hair and in some places my natural colour like that would literally be my worst nightmare come true that would be so embarrassing Thank you. 
my god, it's splashing all over the sink. Ah. I feel like I've used a lot just for this section. That can't be right. Even though I don't want my forehead to be dyed, but still you have to get really close to the hair because I'm quite blonde here, naturally. Okay, time to let this down. After I do all of the sections, I'm gonna go over it and massage it all in anyway because I'm super scared that I'm going to miss patches. God, this is too real, guys. This is too real. Oh, goodness me. This is probably the most boring video ever. Boring hair dye video. But there's no other position I can put the camera in, unfortunately. a little bit easier than that I thought it was going to be. Um, the application, that is. Oh my god, it's getting so red on the top.
Okay, this is not good. Now I'm just gonna completely cover my head guys because um, I'm really not sure if I have got it all or not. It definitely looks like there is a lot of patches here. Oh god. behind the ears I really don't want it to go on my ears but I kind of just have to get in there right Okay, that's got to be covered. Just one. Last. You guys can actually see better than I can right now. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I think it's drenched enough. I'm going to leave this on for 30 minutes and then wash it off and hope for the best is all I can do right now is hope for the best. By the way guys, I did my patch test 48 hours before. You have to do that, it's very essential before any dye treatment do a patch test so make sure that is always done beforehand and dispose of any dye and then you can use this moment to clean up all your mess all right this is looking very red um let's take it out Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Okay. It looks a lot redder on the top than it does. Okay. Let's brush it out. Before I panic, let's brush it out. Very, it's much more vibrant than I thought, but it looks so far not a disaster. I wouldn't class it as a disaster yet. My hair feels very smooth, very healthy. Doesn't even feel like it's been dyed. I think I should have done all of the bottom first, like, and then the roots last, but anyway, 
Okay, I'm going to quickly dry it and style it how I normally would and then I will come back. Okay, so this is the final result. I love it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much better than what I thought. My worst nightmare did come true though, unfortunately. Underneath here is dyed and underneath here isn't... Uh, I don't know how I missed all of this hair, look at this. It's not even touched. How is that possible? How? But it's the back, so it's not really gonna notice much. And I have bought um, some red shampoos, which I'm gonna put through my hair to keep it vibrant. Hopefully that will kind of maybe turn this a little bit more red underneath. I don't know. Um, in between dyeing it again because I would have to dye this patch for sure um, but I don't want to re-dye it again now because that's just a headache you can't see it in this light properly it doesn't really do it enough justice but okay let me just change the direction of the camera okay this is the kitchen lights and you can see it much better so this is all nicely covered it all and went then... wrong here <laughs> i really don't know how that happened see that big patch oh that's so annoying man i feel like literally going in and dying it but that would be stupid I'm going to wait for the next dye round. In between, I'm going to be using my red shampoos that I've ordered from John Frieda, which is supposed to be really good at maintaining the vibrancy. I've got to say, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm very happy. And I just um, put some heat defence mist on and then blow dried my hair with this blow dry brush, which I got from Superdrug. Um, and yeah, can you see how healthy my hair is? Does it look like it's been box dyed? Look at that shine. I am very impressed, Garnier. Very impressed. Wow. Look at that shine. It definitely needs um, a second dye. <laughs> I can see even under here. How did that happen? How did that happen? Okay, anyway. Not bad for my first dye attempt. It could be a lot worse. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.